What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right, guys, we're going back to Apollo 15. And this one's wild because it's the way they expose these photos, and you're going to see what I mean. Let's get started in this. I'll show you where you can find it. It is right here. You can go to Project Apollo Archives, which is on the Flickr page. You can go over here to the lower right corner. And, of course, it shows a download right there. Always go for the largest one because, obviously, it's the big, biggest picture, and you can zoom in a little bit, right? Okay, so what's funny about it is look at this photo, how crazy this is. Okay, nothing to be seen. It's like they brought the exposure way up on this photo. Now, the interesting thing about this is that you can see this, like this area right here, right there, between these two crosshairs, right there. There's some white areas and the one in the back here. Pretty interesting stuff. Now, it's wild the way they do this. Like, this one's highly exposed, right? It's almost like they run it through a computer and then expose it way up. What I think is going on is they take the normal photo, they turn around, they, you know, either back in the day, right, they'd use acetate and then they'd go over that and block out areas they didn't want you to see. Or they just flat out did it straight onto the photo itself, right, whether it be airbrushing, smudging, whatever that they wanted to do. And then they run it through a computer and it automatically brings up the exposure like you see here. It's no different than this Martian photo we had just done here in Solve 1441. Look how dark it is. And we found that there's things on these hillsides and over here in the, in the background there, you can see there's a lot of fudging, right? A lot of blurring, so on and so forth. It's no different. One side of the pendulum to the other side. Super bright or super dark. And what's in here is all, like I said, what you find is not actually whole things, but bits and pieces because of the manipulation they did. And then, they, of course, they brought the exposure up. Let's jump into that. All right, here it is right here. All I tried to do is just bring down the exposure. Just bring down the brightness and see what happens. Okay. Now, right off the bat, you can see there's a lot of pixelation and stuff like that. So it's not a very good high-resolution photo. Now, what you can do is put some blurring into it and then puff up, you know, basically the pixels, right? But let me show you this before I do any of that. Right here, we've got several things. Like this in the background. You're going to see this right here. That's no mountain, guys. That's some kind of craft, structure, whatever. Because you're going to find, the more we get into this, right there, this has been put there. In other words, this right here is the actual object. And all they do is they drew over like this, and went like this, and then just fudged it in and made it look like a mountain. This right here. It has this weird, I don't know if you guys can see this, but right there, it's going like this. You can just see the line of it going like that. Going like this. There's something right here. Didn't even know it was there until I got into this more and more. And you can just see some areas that have just been completely fudged with. Uh, there's some other items here, bits and pieces. You're not going to see whole things, which really sucks because you really want to see everything you can, right? Um, and you're going to see some other stuff here on the side that's also pretty interesting. Let's get into that. Let's bring it down a little bit and zoom back out. Throw a little blur in this. Okay. Now, just by throwing a little blur in this, check this out. Let's go from... This right here. Now, just by bringing up just the blur just a little bit, watch what happens to this uh, this piece right here. You're going to start to see what looks like these little dark areas that are just popping up by themselves. Watch this. Now, it is a little blurry than it needs to be, but I did that for a reason. Now, notice there's one, two, three, and it appears to be almost a faded another one. But you can see this thing going like this, going like this. This object in the background, you'll see there's much more than just some kind of a shiny part of a, a, a mountain or a hill, right? And I'll make this a little bit clearer because it is a bit blurry, right? There's a piece right here. You can see the texture has changed where they've done something right here. And guys, just remember to pause this any way you want, get a better look, okay? All right, let's get more and more into this photo. And what you're going to find is some crap here. That's so hard to blast through, guys. It's almost like because it's closest to the camera that they needed to really, really break this apart. Okay, let's keep going with it. Bring it down some more and see what we can find. Now, this stuff starts to come out pretty clear. Let me just backtrack just a little bit. There's a reason for that. I'm going to show you what I mean. Okay, let's zoom into this. Right here, I don't know if you can see this, but it's very, very faint. Right here. So anything that was in this photo was even had the slightest light signature or whiter signature I tried to bring out. All right, so let's keep going. 
Okay, so again, we can see this right there. Now, whether that's anything, I don't know. All I do is brought up anything that had a lighter signature, right? And now you can see this object here a little bit better. It has these weird pronounced pieces in it. And you can really see the arch now, right? You can see it right here. It's like it's some kind of metallic object. Now, keep in mind, we'd love to be able to see the whole thing, but I think what's going on is that we've got this... They could have just went like this and just kind of like, okay, let's scribble this out and just didn't get the whole thing, right? We've got this object in the back right here. Or multiple objects. Notice how this thing goes down like this. Stops there. It looks like there's almost like this half pipe or whatever, and this thing keeps going. This is what I find interesting in the back, right? You can see where they've done this. Look, they went like this straight line, went down like this, went back up, went like this. It's like they purposely, <laughs> like they would lie, right? <laughs> Come on. Um... Did this line, and you can see it pretty pronounced. Look at this. Completely straight across. Dips down just a little bit. Comes like this, goes back up, and goes like that. Come on, guys. What terrain does that? You shouldn't see a line in a terrain. I don't know if you guys have ever been, uh, like, in an area where you can see mountains and buttes and stuff like that, where you don't see a line at the bottom of that. You see it just, it's just everything flows like the ground should, right? You should not see a line in anything. It should be a perfectly natural flow of anything. And you don't see that. Okay, let's get into this a little bit more. And you can start to see small pieces in here. Bits and pieces, nothing more. And then take note of this. This is pretty cool. Let me just zoom in just a little bit. You've got this l lighter area here. And you can see it very, very, very faintly right there going like this. Okay. But you'll notice there's something else in here. It does this. Comes down. And you'll see this a whole lot better. Now let's continue on. Okay. Bring out this other object as much as we can. We've got this object over here. I'm not sure what to make of this. Right here. Funny thing about it is, guys, you can go back to this. It's all right there. You can see that. Here's that little spot right there, and you can see this thing going just like this. Okay? This one here, like we've been uh, just showed you. I can see that pretty darn clear. This right here. Okay? These objects are, in fact, in the photo. Check this out. And you can see, like, this one's behind some kind of weird rock type thing, it looks like. Look at this. Like, this is all dark here, but when you look at it closely, you can see this object actually still runs through it. See it right here? You can see this object goes like this. It still goes right there, stops right there, goes back up. It has what looks, it almost looks like it has this darker design line or stripe to it. It has this hole at the top. You guys see that? Let's fully enhance all of this. Now, I did this in the back to see if it could bring out more of whatever this is here at the top. See where they've done this? Like an airbrushing, right? Right there. It just goes up like this, and it comes back down. So if you were to, let's say this was object was a standalone object, which I believe that it is. Okay. And you can see it looks like there's some kind of weird thing doing this here. Still continues to go up like this. Something going like this. You guys can see that. But it has this weird structural, and it's really blurry. It's kind of hard to see, and I get that, guys. I understand. Um, but what I'm trying to do is bring this out the best I can for you guys. But you can clearly see where they've airbrushed this. You can see this. It's like, do that. And then make everything white. Everything looks blended in. It looks like nothing more than a side of a mountain. And they do this pretty darn good. They're good at what they do, guys. It's as simple as that. Okay. Again, let's back out. Now, check this out now where well, you can see this right here, like I was saying. And I drew that piece right there I showed you earlier. You can see the lines. Now, whatever these things are is beyond me. I don't know what the hell they are, but clearly this thing is in the photo. You can see this, and it's almost like there's this area 
See this right here? How it goes all the way back. Goes like this. Almost does this here. And you can see it goes all the way back to around the corner. You can see that. Like it has a 90 degree angle up there. Now, whether that's an actual 90 degree angle or it's something they've added is a whole different story. I don't know. This is what it looks like. Now, you can see I tried to really bring down this, this area right here. And the reason for that is because I believe whatever's here has been taken out. This thing's in the background. They really went to town on this to try to block whatever's in here. But there's objects in here. In the background. See that right there? Now, it's hard to make these things out, and I really don't know what this stuff is. However, it's bits and pieces of things they don't want you to see in this photo. But it, clearly, it's there. Whatever this stuff is, couldn't tell you what it is. But what I find interesting is the way they really try to go to town on these things. Again, look at this dark area right here. You can see the texture has changed right there. It may be part of this lighter piece, this object laying right here. And they really tried to take that out. But this part here has really been taken out here. I don't know. Whatever these things are, they are intelligently made. And it's right in front of this astronaut. And I believe this right here, that's no side of a mountain at all. That looks like some kind of constructed object. And these things also. I mean, you can see these are clearly not little craters or, uh, or any kind of thing like that. These are all kinds of objects just laying right there on the ground. This is what they were inspecting. They weren't getting rocks. They weren't getting all that crap like we've seen in the Apollo videos where it looks like they're hoo hooting and hollering, having a great old time. Looking at these rocks going, oh, this is fantastic. Look at this rock. There was much more to it. Now, those Apollo videos might have been all, you know, faked for all we know. But this is what they were really here to do. These photos, I don't believe, are fake. I believe these are real. And this is the reason why we're seeing these things in here. But they're hidden. And that's pretty much it. At least that's my take on it. And that's my opinion. Nobody has to agree with that. But I know most of you guys are on board with that or have a similar idea, right? Whatever these things are, they're in the photo. And if you were to blend everything together with blur or what have you, this is what you end up with. Okay? And again, you can see that. The, the idea is to bring anything like this. That's lighter, make it lighter. Make it more pronounced. Anything around these said objects that is dark, you want to make that darker. So you get the very bright areas and the very darker areas to pop. So you want to balance this thing out correctly. Uh, again, bringing your light pots out, darker pots out as well. So you get that contrast. And this is how you're able to see these objects right there. There you go. I don't believe these are super large. Now, this object way in the background may be. I don't know. But from what I can see... Whatever these things are, are definitely intelligently made. But you guys, as always, get the last say. Tell me what you think. All right, guys, I'm going to jump on out of here. Like always, don't forget to comment. Please like and share the video. When you share these videos, more and more people are now getting, starting to be more and more awake about what's on the moon. And that's the whole idea, right? To get the truth out. And that's anyway, guys, I've got another moon one coming up I think you guys will like. Sometimes there's not a whole lot of things in there, just like this video here. Bits and pieces, that's all we're seeing. Nonetheless, we're seeing them. And I've got another moon video coming up that has this whole area where it looks like a bunch of structures as well. So tune in for that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video.